Alright, this is a quick video on some common chord progressions. And we'll go ahead and we'll jump into it. We might cover a couple different keys in each position. So we'll just start with the G chord. And I recommend just picking any chord that's either like a major chord or a minor chord. So at a G, we just have like the one chord major one chord, which is G, and the major chord is G, and then we get to the minor six. So I really understand the relationship between the relative minor and the relative major, and there's only one note difference. is like the one four five same thing out of G you just have G C D G and that's heard in like a lot of country songs traditional songs of course if you change it to like a seven to get kind of like a blues or a rock feeling. Okay, another important one would be the two five one. Very important when you get into jazz. We'll start really simple. So the two chord of G is A minor. And we'll do like a really quick review of the positions in G. So just G, A minor, two chord, three chord is B minor, four chord is C, five chord is D, six chord is E minor. Seven chord is F sharp diminished. And back to the one chord. Okay, it's a quick review. So two five one A minor. Nicely. Sounds very pleasing to the ears. And I'd also understand the relationship between the one chord and the five chord. Jazz, you can add your like a G major seven. We'll do it with a two five one jazz. So A minor seven. Just throwing that G in there. D seven, and then G. G major seven. for the six for the two and you get the common like the six two five one that reminds me of like a actually like 
like a either 50s song or like like a Weezer, that Weezer introduction song. I can't think of the title, but it's the same progression. So the, the E minor and the A minor work really well together because they're both the minor chords out of G. And of course you can play around with your own progressions. And you could throw in some passing chords so we could do like a three which is B minor and then like a fully diminished B so I could do something like that that's just an altered fifth of a D7 G6, another good major. So the, let's check my timer. So the 145 is one of the most common, and it's found in all the music. Also make the four chord a minor chord. It's an interesting sound. And that's coming from
see? It's a good time to play those pentatonics over the the major one chord and the minor six chord. Get you started with the progression.